There's ample parking for this walk and a pub, Golden Lion. Nice place to finish. Hello! <laughs> Hello! And we're back in Weirdale today, but not on the Weirdale way. Uh, Neil is in Japan at the moment, so we'll continue the Weirdale way when he gets back. But I'm with my daughter, and uh, we're going up to see a lead mine. We're going to go and see Greenlaw Lead Mine. Here's winds flapping. There's a bit of a fixer up there. <laughs> Might be a ruin. It's got some cracking views. We've come up the wrong path. Should have come along there. The mine's down there. Not to worry. We can get back down to the mine quite easy enough. I'm stopping here for something to eat. I want a view, eh? <laughs> Couldn't pick a better picnic spot. The mine is just down the bottom there. Now, uh, the Wellington bomber crashed near the mine, somewhere over there. And uh, Greenlaw Hush, so by the looks of it, that's Greenlaw Hush just over there, down there. So we're now at the mine site. This is Greenlaw Middle Mine. This uh, tunnel is the the entrance into the mine system if I come the other way it's all dry stone walling like the mines as well it's probably not the safest place to be okay that tunnel is not Structurally safe, <laughs> so you take your you take a chance by going through it. It's uh, the roof starting to give way in the middle and towards the end as well. There's bits of stone falling off. Now it's a bit of water. So up to yourself if you take a risk or not. This is like it might have been the mine shop, and the miners would have stayed when they were working on the mine. I tried reopening this mine in 1940 and again in the 1980s unsuccessfully. The entire site is protected. There's a, a lot of flare right in the stream. This is a protected site. So I just have to take photographs and put it back where we found it. Although if there's a big flood or anything it's uh, It'll probably end up washing it all away. I'll put it back. That's interesting, isn't it? Looks like it might be a wheelhouse. The site dates back to 1725 and it was owned by the Blackett and Bowman Lead Mining Company from at least 1818 and then it was taken over by the Weirdale Lead Company in 1884 until 1897 and it stopped working in 1913, abandoned. Now it looks like it's a pro wheel. Looks like the water wheel would have gone into there. Nice little waterfall there. The algae is out in force. And these would have been storage vats where they would have stored the ore before processing. There are more storage vats on this side. This piece is just 
probably the wash floor, I would have guessed. There's the old rail lines. The bridge would have gone across there. There's bits of railing in the bottom of the stream as well. That's well cool. There was a big flood along here in 1995 and it caused a bit of damage. There's, looks like that might be the mine over there. Looks like we found it. Or well, at least one of them, there are probably several. Could just be a drain though from the mine. Got uh, more buildings over here. The stream beds absolutely laden with flare right. Look at that. Very nice. I'm gonna put it back to protect the site and I'm, I believe in protecting sites like this so I'm sharing it with people but don't come here crystal hunting please. There are other places you can crystal hunt just as well without destroying. Put it, put it back. Yeah, put it back. That's right. <laughs> We've either found a mine or it's a drain from the mine. I don't know if it is. Oh, look. I think it looks like a mine. <sighs> I would have expected the mine to be a little bit easier to get in and out. But it could be a mine. Maybe. Definitely substantially uh, built. There's a nice Galena sample with flare right on it. It's really nice. I'll put it back there. That's near the mine, so if anyone wants to come and have a look at it themselves, they can come. But don't take it. Look at that, that's really nice. That's got a flare right and some calcite on it. Lovely. There's some more Galena there, and more, <laughs> and more. This place is really rich in minerals. <laughs> this is the mine, and that tractor's protected as well. Some old railings there as well. Actually, that water is quite deep. Mm. Yeah, we're not going to be able to go inside it. Uh -huh. You come with worries. It's a three mile walk. It is a three mile walk. Not very good with worries, is it? <laughs> mm. There's a bit of stream here. Lovely. You got a lovely bit of flare right there. I don't like that flare. Put it back. And some lovely galena on here. This is the lead ore. And it's just lit up. There's like fluorite and galena everywhere. This mine must have been really rich. There's like loads of fluorite over here as well. So we're just starting to climb up the burn now. I thought this would have been a nice waterfall. And it looks like there's been rock counts here though. You see the fluorite samples that have just been left here. You see, they've obviously chipped what they wanted out of there, which must have been a good crystal, and then left them. <laughs> this is a protected site, so they shouldn't be doing that. There's some galena on that rock there. Very windy. That's the main green low mine, green low middle mine. And you got the hushes that go up here. But look, looks over there. It looks like there's a hush over there as well. Another building. It's a fascinating place. There's loads of mineral samples. But as I said, it's a protected site, so you can't take them, or you shouldn't take them. Uh, there's evidence for someone is taking them, though. 
I think this here is where the Weldon bomber crashed in this house here. On Durham Cow's website it says that the, the bomber clipped the top of the chimney of that house and then it came in and crashed over there somewhere. Ah, it's wonderful here. <laughs> Sound of curlews. Here's a quarry. Apparently, they found evidence of quarrying in this site since before the Romans. And we follow this track back down to St. John's Chapel. Now, this road is green laning. <laughs> that was our trip to Greenlaw Mine everybody. Uh, thank you for joining me on it. It was a very interesting walk. Uh, look out for my blog, it'll be coming soon and it'll give you details so you can do the walk yourself. So if you liked the video, don't forget to give me a like and comment below and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and share. <laughs>